preface by saying I recommend you play this game on the difficulty that takes away the little electric symbol above you when someone's attacking you or above them when they're attacking you and then you just you, you counter their moves by seeing their movements because otherwise you kind of lose the immersion right from an achievement perspective Arkham Asylum is pretty much perfect and is my personal favorite in the series the game itself is fantastic but it is also the smallest it has a reasonable amount of Riddler trophies and the challenge maps and the combat challenges are a challenge but they're not too difficult and have a raged while doing them. You go to any game after Asylum and you have to be the best at every challenge and complete it with every available character. So in comparison, from a non-completionist perspective, Asylum may seem like a more watered down version of the later games, but in practice, you are far less likely to get sick of Asylum if you try to 100% it. And you can actually enjoy most of your playtime. Looking at City, Origins and Night is pretty intimidating because of the secondary requirements to get the achievements, right? There's so many Riddler trophies, the freaking challenge for doing the challenge maps and the combat modes, but Asylum ain't like that. She cares about your time. And so I would 100% recommend this game as an achievement hunting bloke. Total game time was about 27 hours. I will kill the Batman for twenty dollars. But do you want him alive? <laughs> that would cost you twenty-four dollars.